the Germans were applying with devastating logic the first principle of successful modern warfare. The strike of the enemy's air bases and deny him their use, urgent steps had to be taken to protect the defenses of our aerodromes, and for this purpose the RAF regiment was formed. Second of March, they breached Mactilla, and on the 6th of March, the RF regiment were requested to begin flying in squadrons and flights to take over the defence of D-Box. They can't defend, they can't form a solid perimeter around the town, they only have enough troops to form small defensive boxes. So they form six boxes, and the one that we're really interested in the RF regiment is D-Box. They're lettered. And D-Box is the one that's sitting on the edge of the Mactilla airfield. So they, they form D-Box, it's surrounded by wire. Uh, they, uh, the first flights get into Mactilla and are being sniped at as they land. So they're having to get out of Dakotas, get as fast as they can into the box, and then immediately start digging. Uh, snipers start to appear. As I said, the Japanese have been beaten in terms of the town and so there's stragglers moving away, but they know that in a few days' time they're going to reorganise and they'll come back. So D-Box was about 1,500 yards by 500 yards in size, and inside it were crammed all the people who were necessary to run the airfield. Um, also, some, I say, a, Gurk, a few Gurkhas from the first the uh, Gurkha rifles, um, some Americans, and that's the box they sat in at night. So every morning. If you wanted to land some aircraft, someone had to go out and find out whether the Japanese were still there. They would do things like dig themselves into the monsoon ditches. They'd, um, they'd dig holes all over the place. Or they, and one time they set up an anti-tank gun at the end of the runway, which you could imagine wouldn't be very good if you were trying to land a Dakota and there's um, anti-tank shells coming through your cockpit out there. So someone had to go out every morning and make sure those two runways were clear. And that was the job that the RAF regiment was given. <laughs> 